What is going on, folks? It's Bark back again with a video for you. We're going to do something that was requested of me, and that something is the SM7B. We're going to use it with the uh, the Clark Technic Mic Booster CT1. I did a video on this a while back, $29.99, albeit hard to find right now. But I had a lot of requests for the SM7B. See what this does with an SM7B. Obviously, it's going to boost the output. But is the noise level going to be similar? Now, I don't have fancy graphs, charts, or uh, software to show you the noise floor. We're just going to have to use our ears, kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. Politics are stupid. Okay, so right now we're going to use this on something that absolutely cannot drive it without noise, and that is even though I love this device, the Tascam. If I can like raise it high enough, the Tascam US thirty two, a great little device. But no chance is there not going to be hiss. I hear hiss already. So, and it's not quite all the way up, but it's close. So let's go ahead and listen to the background noise of the SM7B on the Tascam currently. That is nice and hissy, in my opinion. It's on, it's turned up about. 95%. I'm going to go ahead and crank it the rest of the way so we can hear how uh, much noise happens without the Clark Nick Clark Technic mic booster CT1. Okay, so there is a that's all the way up and me talking I'm still not clipping so it's driving it, but let's listen to that noise. That's pretty significant in my opinion. Pretty significant. So let's go ahead and take the Clark Technic. This is going to be a short video. We just want to see how good this thing is. So right now, as far as like what I'm getting, I'm, I'm barely getting into the yellow on here. So ne roughly about negative 12 decibels, negative 10 decibels. And we're going to try to match that level with this and see if we still have the hiss. Let's do that now. Okay, so now we've got the SM7B plugged into the Clark Technic Mic Booster. And uh, something else that's good to know, I've got this on my Vivo Boom Arm with a Frameworks, Gator Frameworks Quick Release Adapter. That's why this thing hangs so far down. That's what she said! Hmm. <laughs> Knockout punch on that one. So I, I'm hitting roughly the same levels as I was before, but now I've got the Clark Technic plugged in. Nice streamlined solution there. Let's go ahead and listen in now on the noise. I definitely believe it's significantly less. That being said, I do have the dial turned up to about one o'clock as opposed to five. So we're able to crank this down quite a bit, still get the level we need out of it, but car noise. Yes. Hiss. Not really. Let's go ahead and tone it down just a little to about in between 12 and one o'clock. Okay. I've turned it down in between 12 and 1 o'clock, and I think this is also a rather listenable level. This is good. I can boost it in post. My, my uh, sound waves look pretty solid. Let's hear and see if that made a difference in the hiss. If almost non-existent hiss, but there is a tiny bit. Okay, so... 
For comparison's sake, let's turn this back off. Go back without the Clark Technic Mic Booster CT1. I listen for thirty bucks. I think it's I think it's a steal, and I, I think if you can get more out of the SM7B for just thirty bucks with a cheap interface, phantom power turned on, more clean gain. I mean twenty nine ninety nine. It's kind of no brainer. Let's go ahead and disconnect this thing and go back to these levels and just listen again before we end the video. Okay, so now we're back to the, without the CT1, and we're talking back into this thing, straight into the task cam. I will say, I think this does color the sound just a little bit, uh, in a good way, I think. I think, I think it colored the sound in a good way. So, let's be quiet again. Significant noise, in my opinion. So, I, I believe the Clark Technic Mic Booster CT1 passes the test with the SM7B. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching this short one. Just pushing this thing a little further than we did in the first video. Again, comments down below. Let me know what you thought. Thank you again. Almost pushing 1,000 subscribers. Thank you again. That's great. Subscriber count's not really what this is all about, but it does help to know a lot of you are getting something out of this small channel. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.